If you wanna be crypto savvy, we can help you skip those valleys. Let's rally, yeah. If you wanna be crypto savvy, we can Welcome back to Be Crypto Savvy as we'll be jumping into the world of Bitcoin using the help of the Genie Range report as well. So make sure that you stay tuned for that. First things first, however, let's jump into Bitcoin. Now this is playing out pretty darn close to what we were anticipating. Right now we're currently on the four hour time frame and if I zoom in here, I'd like to just look at this zone that we were anticipating reaching. And you can see we just missed this. We actually ended up missing it by about a half a percent. Uh, we ended up coming down to about $26,976 and we were anticipating $26,000. $900. However, close only counts in horseshoes and hand grenades. Wah, wah. Now this video isn't going to be very lengthy as we're still actually playing out what we have already been talking about and expecting. Now you can see we ended up hitting this double bottom here that ended up uh, you know, overpowering this fifth leg and not having us extend down uh, probably quite as far as we would have, which is fine. We don't need the full extension on that fifth leg. We got exactly what we needed. Let me actually jump out to the daily time frame here just to kind of get this into a little bit of a cleaner look. There we go. Now, if you caught the video that we were, you know, uh, talking about what our, our expectations were, uh, we talked about this five wave move to the downside. And then what we said we were going to be looking for was a, an ABC retesting, possibly up to that $30,000 level before ultimately seeing another five wave structure to the downside. So this was the structure information that we had talked about, you know, going back two, three days ago, that still is the expected uh, play here. Now, with that being said, this fifth wave to the downside, as well as this impulsive move that we've seen in our reversal, uh, pushing back up towards 30,000, both of those moves did happen faster than I anticipated them to. So with that being said, there is some possible more uh, growth to the upside. You can see down on our stochastic relative strength index, we have just curled around. Now that doesn't mean that we're going to come all the way back to the top. You can see like back here as an example, after we curled around, uh, we came up to about 34, 35 before uh, flatlining and coming back down. So that doesn't necessarily mean that this thing is going to keep climbing up to $32,000 or anything uh, just because of our stochastic RSI positioning. I did just want to point that out. However, with the impulsive action that we've seen uh, with that push, uh, going higher than $30,000 definitely is not out of the equation. However, ultimately, again, I do see this uh, pulling back and uh, pulling back pretty pretty decently now that we've got this out of the way let's jump over to the price predicting range report provided by the team over at genie.io now i'm going to touch on some of these news and events but just as a friendly reminder when you have this report yourself you're able to click on all these links bringing you to the to the actual articles and when you read those it gives you a better understanding of the macro outlook for not only bitcoin and ethereum but for really the whole crypto space, which is, you know, that's part of doing your own research and it is highly important. And one of the main reasons I'm sure the team over at Genie.io decided to start the report off with that front and center. All right, not center, but you get you get the drift. So let's jump into this Bitcoin at banks. I am going to completely mess this up. Rifeson Lands Bank. Rifus and Lands Bank. That might be like one of the uh, uh, horseshoes and hand grenade type of situations. Rifus and Lands Bank to offer crypto investment services. Bitcoin price gains 6% as First Republic Bank drama delights Bitcoin bulls. Uh, First Republic Bank, if you have not been up to date, is completely tanking over the last probably 30 to 40 hours or so. Out of Compute North bankruptcy rises a 30 megawatt Bitcoin miner with a novel energy offering. First Mover America Bitcoin regains 29,000. That's old news, man. We're we're at 20. We're at 30k. Son. Bitcoin could hit 100,000 by end of 2024. Standard Chartered says. 
And we're going to keep on moving. Bitcoin price ticker at the time of recording shows $29,835. Moving down to the volatility forecast, opportunity zone, and relative value. You can see this is this looks like a tube of toothpaste that is getting to the end of its life. Uh, so this shows, if, if I'm taking a quick glance at this, uh, going back to what we were talking about here, uh, I would say that the range report is telling us that we do have that possible window to push slightly higher. I think this range report does a great job showing us that, you know, that $32,000 level, which we actually talked about back here as well, that $32,000 level is the start of that next resistance band above our head. So, you know, it does a good job depicting the fact that, you know, that's not out of the equation. Uh, but if you've been using this report for a while, you know, you can start to, you know, understand a lot better of where within this uh, forecast zone you're more you're most likely to remain. So I think this report does a good job of letting us know that, you know, that $32,000 level is not out of the equation, just probably unlikely. So we're not going to spend time on the candles as we just were coming from uh, TradingView. Looking down at the hourly RSI, we kind of looked at that over on the Stochastic in TradingView. Looking at this hourly RSI, you can see that we have re-entered that extremely overbought territory, uh, which is an indicator of uh, possible price relief in the near future. If we look down at the daily RSI over the course of 30 days, yes, we did get that little bit of a pop. However, we are still underneath that 50 zone. Uh, so, we, you know, still putting in and uh, we mentioned that this was coming down like we were hoping. However, we weren't anticipating, you know, a straight move to the downside. Nothing moves straight down. Nothing moves straight up. Uh, you're going to have, you know, some bouncing around in there. So as this does pop back up, uh, I do still see this coming back down, uh, especially when we, you know, come back into that five wave structure to the downside. When we check out the MACD, we can see that this is still playing out. We had our bearish cross back here about the 17th or 18th, and we haven't even gotten a full curl on this bottom side here yet. So we're still watching this MACD play out. Over on the Stochastic, you can see that we did finally get that bullish cross underneath this 20 line uh, on the 23rd of April, and since then have been uh, pulling to the upside. Uh, the stochastic over 30 days, I don't think that this one's coming back all the way up to the top to that 80 line. I think that this is going to end up stalling out uh, part way up before coming back down. Checking out the Bitcoin average price over the past 30 days, you can see that this has been pulling back. Bitcoin on balance volume, we have seen a substantial decrease in the volume. Uh, that is good to see. However, if we could look past just the last 30 days, we'd be able to see that this has been getting stacked and stacked and stacked going back quite some time. So as this is a good indication, it is just a uh, the initial dent in what I believe we need to see in volume decreasing uh, for this really to go where we want it to go. Average directional movement over 30 days. You can see that this trend has pulled all the way back from 38 down to 26. Anything over 25 is the beginning of a trend reading. So with us pulling back to 26, we've pulled back to basically, you know, n a non-existent trend, which is kind of interesting. We've pulled back to 26, even with the parabolic climb that we've seen over the past 24 hours. But we'll move on. Ultimate oscillator hasn't really been giving us a lot for the past, you know, quite some time, really. Uh, past few weeks have been very neutral and stagnant. When we move on down to the parabolic stop and reversal, we've gotten two uh, buy dots printed underneath our uh, candles over on the Fibonacci retracement. It looks like we have uh, finalized that pullback and are retracing back to the upside. The candles with Hikaki, the last solid confirmation we got was the bear confirmation back here on uh, March 25th. We have gotten some light confirmations uh, scattered throughout both uh, bullish and bearish. On our Bitcoin Copot curve, we did finally get that uh, pull down past that zero line, which would be a forecast to a strong move to the downside. If we take a look at the historical, you can see that this report is shooting on a 91% accuracy as far as Bitcoin is concerned. Let's actually check out Ethereum while we're sitting right here. Ethereum's percentage, 94%, almost 95%. That is insane. 
So if you are interested in having artificial intelligence and machine learning help you zero in on those entry and exit points within the crypto space and your technical analysis, this report could be exactly what you're looking for. Up in the top right corner, I will be throwing up a video that helps you learn everything you need to know about the range report, as well as how to get it for not only a two week free trial, but also 10% off the already low price of only $20 per month thereafter. So that's it. We'll catch you folks on the next video. See you then.